Would you like to know which funds have been at the top of their game year after year? You've come to the right place. A lot of investors look at performance tables to see which funds have done best over the past 12 months. The dangers of looking at such a short period is that the best performing funds might have just been in the right place at the right time. That's simply down to luck. A better approach might be to look back over a longer period to spot funds that have consistently done well versus their peer group. That should give you an idea of which funds manage to have the qualities to deliver it again and again and not just have a small pocket of success. For this video, I've done the work for you. I've filtered the market for funds that are top quartile performers, which means they're in the top 25% of the best performing funds for their respective sectors. Because I only want the funds that have consistently done well, I've stipulated that the funds must be top quartile over one, three, five and ten year periods. They've got to qualify for each one of those time frames, not simply one or two. All of the data in this video has been sourced from FE Fund Info and runs to the 14th of January 2021. Before I explore the results, it's worth making two important points. First, what's done well in the past isn't guaranteed to do well in the future. Second, a fund can appear in the top quartile of its sector, but that doesn't actually mean it made money for investors. The whole sector could have suffered negative returns, but there would still be some that didn't perform as poorly as others, so technically would be top quartile. And it always pays to look closely at the numbers when doing your research. With those important points out the way, let's dive into some different fund sectors and see which ones have been winners. It's rare to be consistent for a long time, so it pays to sit up and take notice of funds where managers have shown the ability to evolve with the times. Many investors love putting money into global funds. You should get more or better diversification and the fund managers have the freedom to find what they think are the best companies in the world rather than being restricted to stocks listed in a certain geography. Looking at the Investment Association's global sector category, the best performing fund over the past 10 years that meets our specific criteria for consistent top quartile status is Bailey Gifford Global Discovery, up 617%. It invests in companies which it believes could be a lot bigger in the future. At the time of recording this video, there was a big weighting towards healthcare and technology companies. In the IA North American sector, there's another Bailey Gifford fund occupying the top spot in our research. Bailey Gifford American has returned the most over the past 10 years from the funds ranked as top quartile in this category for 1, 3, 5 and 10 years. It's generated a return of 864% in the past 10 years, helped by having positions in some companies that have come on leaps and bounds in recent years, including Shopify, which lets people set up online stores, and streaming service provider Netflix. Investors looking for exposure to Japan will be interested to see that T. Rowe Price, Japanese equity, is the best performer over 10 years, and ticking all the boxes we want in terms of being top quartile over 1, 3, 5 and 10 years. In fact, it's the only fund in the IA Japan sector to meet these criteria. For those wanting Chinese exposure, Bearing China is one of only two funds to meet our criteria for consistent top quartile status. And if you're hungry for dividends, TB Guinness Global Equity Income is top of the pops on our screen for the IA Global Equity Income sector. Closer to home, Royal London's Sustainable Leaders tops the list for the UK category. It invests in the shares of high quality companies. And if you want to see the full list of top quartile performers, just click the link in this video description and you'll be taken to an article that's got all the details. Thank you for watching.